And hello again, everyone. Welcome into this week's edition of Panther Pride. I'm Mickey Shadricks here with Welburn head coach Jeff Smith. On Friday night, Welburn hosted Ohatchee in a key 3A Region 5 matchup. The Panthers fall to the Indians by a score of 42 to nothing. And coach, uh, you knew Ohatchee would be a big challenge. They uh, a lot of players back from the team they had last year when they had such a successful run. Talk about the game on Friday. Well, you know, just one of the things is they've got an older team again. You know, they had 15 seniors. We've got uh, 12 juniors and seniors on the team, and we're made up of, you know, 28 freshmen and sophomores. And it's just we got some young kids playing against some older kids, and they, they do a good job and got a good team and everything. And, uh, you know, they just, you know, got the best of us. But, you know, um, our kids, our, our day's coming. We just got to keep working and take it day by day and game by game, and, and they'll develop up. You know, it's just such a tough region. Oh, You've yes. got so many uh, good, sound football teams in this region. And, and just, tough non-region. And tough just, non -region. just getting in the playoffs is a challenge when you're in 3A region. Absolutely. Five. And look, uh, we've got kids, we've got five kids on our defense that played 7th and 8th grade junior high football last year. And now they're playing varsity football with that non-region schedule we had and, you know, also in the toughest 3A region in the state. But it'll, it'll do nothing but pay off for them. I mean, we got we had five freshmen and two sophomores start on defense. We had four sophomores uh, on our offensive line and a freshman quarterback uh, this week. And the, they'll do nothing but get better. But they've just got to they got to get older and they got to keep getting experience. I know it's always important to get off to a good start, especially mm -hmm. in a game like this. They come out and get the ball, go down and score. You get the ball and you've got a good drive going. And I remember a key play. Uh, had a drop pass it would have given you a first down and kept the drive going and then they got the ball back scored again then you're down two touchdowns yeah and, and that, that hurt us you know we, they, we started off with a, a ground kick because they do a good job on kick returns and, and they, they they got it to the 45 to start with and, and you know they did a uh, the second play of the game the quarterback kept it and had a, had a good run and scored and and then we came back and was moving the ball down the field and, um, and, and like, like you said, we had a pass that was open right there and just dropped it and uh, forced us into a fourth down. And we tried to fake a punt and we left one guy unblocked. And the one guy that was unblocked right there made the tackle. And they got it again on, on, uh, on their 45 and, and scored again and got us down 14 to zero. And then now you have to change your game plan about now you're not trying to uh, match scores with them. Now you're trying to catch up scores with them. It was also a special night on Friday. You had the 1977 Welburn team celebrating their 40-year reunion. We've got yes. we're going to be talking about that uh, later on in the show as well. Make sure you stick around for that. We'll take a break. Come back with first half highlights in just a moment on Panther Pride. And the Welburn Panthers coming on the field out on the hill hosting Ohatchee. Well, there's the first play where the quarterback kept it. I mean, it was the second play of the game. He kept it on a keeper right there and, and um, made a good run, got by our first man, and, and he was gone. Here you see us right here. We run a pitch out here to J.B. on Thomas to get a nice gain right there. This is our first drive coming back. Uh, here we uh, run, run a zone replay right here, and it was red. And, and, and ended up working good, and we ended up turning the ball over. And uh, he, here you see them, they, they cut back across, and uh, they get their second score here. So that puts them up 14 to zero. We come back here, we run a, a sprint out pass right here, and, and hit a good curl, curl route right there to Walker Hayes, a senior, and, uh, and get a first down. Here we run speed sweep with J.B. on Thomas and get a nice gain off of it. Uh, ended up turning it back over right there. And here we, we think that we got their running back tackled right here. And then he, he kind of gets in the, the um, mess of all the, the linemen and everything and pops back out of it. We end up getting him tackled. We're going into the second quarter here. And they ran a, like a sprint out throwback right here. And, and we over pursued and they hit the backside route. And got got them up 21-0. We come back here and uh, we throw a, a good pass down the field right here. And Jet throws a good ball to Calvin Spanks, another freshman that we got playing right there. And he he gets a nice gain and we get into their territory. 
ended up turning the ball over on downs again right there. Uh, uh, they, they run a play here and, and we get a good stop. So this is a quarterback gut play that they got. Uh, it's, it's got a lot of misdirection to it right there and you have to really do your responsibilities to stay with it. Again, Jamiron Curry makes another good tackle. Um, comes back here right there and they did a, a, a throwback screen and um, basically got by the, the first guy that was supposed to stay home for it right there and got, the, got it in right there and it's 28-0. So the four scores that they did get right there were big plays. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as driving the ball on us, we did real good as far as lining up and playing them hard and, and fighting with them as far as not letting them drive on us, but then they hit some big plays on us. And what are you thinking here at halftime uh, adjustment-wise? Obviously, you're in a big hole here. Well, we, we did, you know, but when we went down there, uh, I went over, I reinforced some technique issues that we had that broke down on them right there. But, you know, as far as they are playing hard, our kids were playing hard. It, was, it wasn't a lack of effort. Uh, I think they were, they were playing hard and would leave their technique from time to time. That's where the big plays came from. Maybe trying to do too much. They were, they were, they were trying to pursue too hard to it right there instead of the guy standing back and making sure the quarterback didn't keep the football. Um, the guy standing back and making sure we didn't, you know, the screen didn't slip out. They were trying to get to the ball and make a play and, you know, it cost us. But, you know, that that's, again, immaturity mm -hmm. that they, they will get better with in time. You, you learn from those things through experience and then when you get beat on a play like that it reminds you not to get beat on it again. All right as we go to break here's a look at the Welburn High School marching band from Friday night. And we're back on Panther Pride. 28 0 Ohachi leading Walter Welburn at the half. They're kicking off to you, coach, to begin the second half. A squib kick right there, and, and Calvin gets, gets the ball and gets the most he can get with it right here. Uh, they come up there, and we, we turn the guy loose on the edge, and um, they block a punt and scored right there and made, made it 35 uh, 0 at this time. So that's the way they start out the third quarter. Uh, they come up here again. They have a nice nice run right here, and we had a tackle came up right there, Austin McQueen, uh, who's been injured, uh, came up and made the tackle. Here you see Jet made a nice run right here on, on, on a quarterback keep play. Uh, here he's sprinting out right here, and he's going to find a walker again here on a good curl route right there and hit set. Um, here we have a nice tackle right here made by uh, Logan uh, Brooks, another freshman. Uh, Doing another sprint out pass right here, and Tona Davis, who's a senior right there, that uh, gets a good stop right. I know Tona's been a, a, a really big team player for us all these years. We force him to punt. Uh, Calvin comes out here again, another freshman, and ha has a pretty good little return here. Um, we ended up, they, they call us for blocking the back. That's Bailey Neely right there, and Contreras Hunt. Contreras Hunt's a freshman, and Bailey Neely, 32, is a freshman right here. See Bailey Neely blocking down right there at number 32, a freshman, and, and Calvin Spinks has a nice run there. And the final score, Ohachi pitches a shutout at Welburn 42 to nothing. And Coach, I know this was a game that your, your kids really knew the importance of, really wanted to win, and uh, how, how, how were they uh, doing after the game? Well, they were upset. You know, look, we had a really good week of practice, and we, were, and we felt like we was very prepared, and the kids were really up for it. And we got into the game, some things early didn't go our way. And, you know, it, it, I've talked with my oldest son about it after, after the game a good bit, you know, yesterday. And it just boils down to they were older than us. And, you know, we, we've just got to be patient with these young guys. And, again, we're going to go out there Monday and we're going we're gonna to break it back down, get back to fundamentals, and we're going to take it day by day, game by game. And eventually they're going to they're gonna get older. And with this experience that they're getting, we're going to have a really fine football team here a year or two down the road. And we just got to remember that and just keep working each day and each game to get better. And, you know, and, and our seniors we got, 
they're out there working and trying and, and to do a good job. And, you know, uh, they, they've got a few games left here, and we want them to, to go out a win or two. So we, what we've got to do is just keep working and keep uh, take it game by game and, and finish the season up, you know, the right way. All right, let's take a look at the individual player awards from the Ohatchee game. Scramber was Mason Yates, a senior. Uh, he played an outstanding football game for us. Our racehorse was a freshman, Calvin Spinks. Uh, the headhunter was Jet, who had 13 tackles. Uh, Big Hog was Jet again. It was with a uh, uh, best defensive line and linebacker performance. Uh, Pancake Block was Calvin Spinks, a freshman. Uh, hardest hit was Contreras Hunt, a freshman uh, that, we, that we saw there on the, on the video. Uh, Minus Panther was Calvin Spinks. Twelfth man was Jet. Uh, offensive Player of the Week uh, was Calvin Spinks, and Defensive Player of the Week was Jet, and a tie with Jamiron Curry. Jamiron Curry is a senior that played defensive end, uh, played a really good football game. Much more to come. It doesn't get any easier as no. Welburn has to travel to Piedmont this week. Uh, also, a look at the 1977 40-year reunion yes. from Friday night and a special player profile feature coming up next right here on Panther Pride. And we couldn't have this show each week without all of our fine Panther Pride sponsors. And we are also happy to have Wise Environmental Solutions along with our show this year. Uh, they're in Oxford and they're a leader in the field of enhanced waste collection and resource recovery services. Wise offers a variety of services for residential, business, and government customers, including portable restrooms and restroom trailers for, for special events or construction sites. Wise also offers dumpster rental services when you need some extra capacity for that home remodeling project, yard project, or more. Wise even offers tent rentals for weddings, corporate events, or outdoor parties. All rental services include professional delivery, pickup, setup, and takedown. All rentals are clean and well maintained and available at reasonable prices. You can call them or visit the website on your screen. Wise Environmental proudly serving Calhoun, Etowah, Jefferson, St. Clair, and Talladega counties. Well, you know, each week here on Panther Pride, we normally have at this time in the show our player spotlight feature. But this week, we've got something a little different for you as Gerhard Mathangani takes a look at a special group of young ladies who play a major role in a Friday night at a Welburn football game. They are a part of the fabric that makes up high school football Friday nights. But the path to being a Panther cheerleader starts long before the lights come on. These 15 ladies and the team mascot are led by Erica Lehman. We practice four days a week um, during football season. We start off on Monday, we uh, start off with candy cups. Our guys get candy cups every week and they're designed, each one is designed by a cheerleader. And then we start preparing for the pet rally. Uh, we have it on Fridays. They have a list of 20 to 25 items that we have to prepare and put together and plan. The components that make up a strong football team transfer to cheer squads as well. Qualities like leadership, teamwork, and trust run deep through the program. Seniors Aubrey Woodard and Chelsea Carroll say being on the squad has helped their development. Through all the difficulties and all through the challenges, I can say that uh, I got to grow and all this kind of stuff in different aspects of my life with meeting new people and trying new things and getting out of my comfort zone. If you have a bad day and you come to practice, it immediately goes away. It's like your family, basically. The Welburn community is very close, and so getting to spend like almost every day with 14 girls, it makes you really, really close with them. You just learn to enjoy the little things like having little practices and stunning with them and just laughing at every little thing. Like that's what I'm going to miss the most. Of course, no program can go very far without support. And Coach Lehman says it comes from all manner of places in the community. From our administration, Mr. Hayes and Ms. Bing, um, they, they support us in every possible way. Um, Coach Smith, has, he has supported us since day one. He includes the cheerleader in every decision, or cheerleaders in every decision that he makes. We also have an athletic boosters um, made up of Welburn graduates, and they support us in many, many ways. I can make a phone call today to any, any of those groups or any of those individuals, and they would be there for us. Having all of those components allows us to have a successful cheer program. For this week's Feature Spotlight on the Panther Pride, I'm Gerhard Mathingani. 
All right, Coach, that's a nice yeah, idea yeah. you had this week to focus on uh, the cheerleading group you have there at Wellborn. Well, you know, Erica does such a good job with them, and she's she's been out there for so long and <clears throat> and worked with them, and, and you know, they're, they're, they're so supportive. And, um, you know, I, I think a lot of times that they get overlooked, but the job that they do, they, they really work hard. All right. Uh, congratulations to the Welburn cheerleaders and the hard work they perform each and every Friday night during football season. Well, coming up next, we'll look ahead to this Friday night's region matchup at Piedmont. Also a special feature on the 1977 Welburn team. That's coming up next on Panther Pride. And we're back on Panther Pride, and there you see this week's matchup, Welburn traveling to Piedmont. And Piedmont strong again this year, the defending state champions having another very, very good season this year. And Coach, so goes life in 3A Region 5. It just seems like it's a tough game every Friday night. Well, you know, of course, Piedmont's got a good football team. And watching them yesterday, they're just so well coached. And, uh, you know, look, hey, they're the defending state champs. And we're going to go over there, and we're, we're going to work every day this week to get better right there. And we're going to go get after them uh, next Friday, and we're going to see what happens right there. Uh, you never say never, but we're, we're going into the game to win the game and not just show up. All right, well, last Friday night, as we mentioned earlier, was a very special uh, night. You had the 1977 yes. Welburn team that went 13-1, and did not lose till they lost to Andalusia in the state championship game. One of the best teams we've ever had in this area. It was a reunion for these guys. Yep. And before the game, I had the opportunity to speak to the head coach of that team, Johnny Ingram. All right, All right, Coach, Coach Ingram, just, just tell me what it's like to get back together with these guys. guys. I know it's, it's got to bring back some special memories. It's quite a thrill. I've uh, been, been saying for years we wanted to get this group back together. together. We've, We've never done it, but here they are, and uh, it's, it's just a great honor to, I think, the community that would come out and do this for us, you know, and have this reception for us, recognize us, and, uh, you know, it's just a... Uh, it's, it's just, just a great, great night, and as they've said a hundred times, it's, it's great to be a Welburn Panther. I, I grew up about a block from here, and I always went to school here, played here, coached here, here, so uh, it's great to be back. 1977, what a year. What stands out when you think back to that season? Well, Court, you can't get past the championship game that we didn't win. I mean, there was a crowd in here. You couldn't have put another person in this stadium. Uh, we lost seven to nothing uh, to a great team. As Andalusia, this is their third year in the uh, final game. So they came to win it, and they did. But uh, I think we put a good representation for the community together. Finally, don't you think with some of the guys you had playing for you, Jeff Cunningham, Gino English, on and on, this had to probably be as good a collection of talent as we've seen on a football team in this area. I think there's no question this group could play with the modern day team. You can take spread offenses, any kind of deal you want to put together. This group had the athletes that could play with anybody, and they had the work, work ethic and the determination. And Coach, uh, there's a look at some of the, the players and cheerleaders from that year that were able to attend the reunion on Friday night. Some legendary players out there, you know. I can t talk about, you know, uh, look at that. That's, that is uh, Donnie Brooks, his sister, holding his, his uh, uh, T-shirt up with his, with his uh, face on it. Uh, just We just had some really good players that played during that time. Barry Miller, uh, Gino English. Uh, Joel Hopper's out there, Keith Odell, uh, Keith Kilgore, and just some, just some of our players that you know I grew up out there looking up to. I can remember the state championship game when we played Andalusia at Welburn, and that, that's when the state championships were still played on the home fields. And I, 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 I get chills even still talking about it, but it was so cold that night, and that crowd, it was so packed. There was literally people climbed up in the trees watching that game. And we lost the game seven to zero. Uh, Jeff Cainham hurt his leg right there to start the second half, and and uh, we we end up losing to him seven to zero. Uh, but but man, what an atmosphere and what a game and what a team. And Coach Ingram and Miss Ingram were able to come back. Um, you know, uh, he 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 was also from Welburn and coached at Welburn, and you know I just. Uh, I got a lot of respect for them and thank a lot of them and just so proud we got to do that. Yeah, some of the talent on that team, Coach Ingram mentions there in the interview that, uh -huh. that you could have put those guys in the modern day offenses oh, yes. that you're seeing in football and it would have been a pretty dynamic Well, we had touch. a quarterback, Simon Clemson, 
We had a wing back sign with Ole Miss. We had a running back sign with Auburn. And then Harris Montgomery, who I didn't mention just a minute ago, was our fullback that he ended up signing with Jacksonville State and really, really did well there too. So that was four four uh, college football players that I mentioned, not to mention uh, Chris Ray, who was on the team that ended up going to uh, Jacksonville too later on down the road. So we just, we just had a lot of good players and a lot of good memories. Oh, Coach, we're about out of time. I know there's something else that you wanted to mention. Yeah, we, we also uh, uh, recognize our retired jerseys. Uh, number 81, Alan Ray Chapin was our first player that was killed in Vietnam. Um, Jimmy Stacks was number 24, uh, was also on that 77 team that, that passed away. Uh, Coleman Estes, he, he finished up around, well, he, he passed away. He should have graduated, I think, 93 or 94. But uh, he, he, he died of prostate cancer before he graduated from high school. And then, of course, Aaron T.D. Harris that, that we lost, you know, our, during our third year at, at Welburn. We recognized those retired jerseys. And then we also had two people that were uh, big volunteers in our community that we also uh, recognized. And that was Larry uh, Big Daddy Pearson and Gene Mitchell, who dedicated their lives to Welburn. All right, it was a special night out at Walter Welburn last yes, Friday night. And should be a, a great game this week at Piedmont. We'll be back here next week on Panther Pride with all the highlights. Hope to see you then.